it all depends on like what area you stay in in New York. Like That's here right. in, yeah. in Cali, like any area you in, you're gonna find like a fire restaurant. Right. But like where I'm, where I am, bro. We gotta cross the bridge, bro, to find something fire. And, like, yeah. there's literally nothing fire yeah. that will stand out. Deep, Jersey. deep down there. Yeah, bro, I gotta yeah. go 25, 30 yeah, minutes away to get some. Where do you live out Is that just where you grew up? I just Jersey. love it. Like, I love it because it's just out the way. Like, yeah. And I and I did grow up there, but like, honestly, though, <laughs> think of that, though. It's crazy. Think though. of how much of a dream it would be to live in the home you grew up in and film a hit TV show for ten years. Wow. Like, there's nothing probably better. That is That's fire. so lovely. And right? my grandparents is right next door to me, so. Oh, like, what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 your mom's so lovely. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's lit. I, li I like That's it. That's amazing. I yeah. like it where I live right now, but I'm definitely about to get a crib out here, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast. Day one, day one. So let's introduce our guest, Michael. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm doing the introduction. I don't know. You want to do it? I mean, take it over. Take it. Take it. I took over the last one. All right, bad, bad, bad. All right, all right, all right. So Maybe we yeah. have a very special guest. Hated or loved by the power fans, <laughs> it's 50-50. Um, but we have the incredible Melanie Liebird yes. here in the building. Yay. Yes. AKA Professor Milgram. Professor Milgram. The one y'all love to you. hate and hate to love. <laughs> <laughs> What's been up? What's been up? Good. It's so lovely to be here. Finally. I'm yes. like, when I'm coming, I've been bugging him to death. <laughs> when am I coming? When am I coming on? I'm like, finally happy to have you on because now we're on the West Coast. We're we on your side. Yes, we're on the West Coast. So, so nice. we have she's, to get you on. She's doing a project right now where she needs a British accent, so she's in character still. She's <laughs> she grew up in Jersey, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, a lot of people don't know that I you're from that do you know, it's crazy. I actually met the president this year. Really? Like, Joe Biden. He goes, oh, hey, Miss Carolina. <laughs> oh, like, it's so funny, the people that, like... Just... Oh, I thought I thought you were going to say he called you Carrie. No. I was like, wait, hey, Biden wants his power? <laughs> I was like, hold on. No, everyone just I thought that motherfucker the... watched Days of Our Lives. <laughs> <laughs> everyone just takes the mic out of the accent. That's crazy, though. Yeah. yeah. Biden, he's like, Psh. That's crazy, like, but yeah, a lot of... British. Yeah, a lot of people don't didn't, like, they don't know. They didn't expect you to have the, the British accent. Like, yeah. You know, it's so it's funny. It's crazy. Though. I didn't expect it either. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's, I, it's so funny that I, I've been on, like, in different places, like, on, on a plane, you know, and I get, you get a bit self-conscious because <laughs> there was someone staring at me and, like, it's just like, right. oh, my God, you look just like that that girl on the show, but she's American. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you I'm go always, with like, it, right? I'm always like, that's my twin. Or like, yeah, people say I look like him a Yo, lot. I used to yeah. be able to get away with that all the time. Like, <laughs> season just... two of Power, but I used to be like, nah, I get that a lot, though. It's not me. Yeah. Like, nah, yeah. people go... And then they see his waves and like, nah, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's but just yeah. like when there's 100 people around, it's like... It's just like, damn. Right. It's right. crazy. So, and then so... once one starts, it's like... Ten other people notice yeah. you. It's like, yeah. damn! It started. You just started some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so when did you move to America? When I moved. Oh wow! I moved here like eight years ago. Oh nice. From London. To to, to LA. LA. Straight to, to LA. LA. Yeah. Straight to LA. Because I was like, come on, I've got to get to LA. My cousin lived here, which made it easier. Nice. Mm. So it's just nice when you know some people. Right. And like, I stayed in her house. Fine. Um, right. Which was great. Yeah. So so you did traditional acting theater training in mm. London. Yeah. Yeah. I um Oh you motherfuckers take the roles. Yeah. Stop taking the good roles. <laughs> Every single Spider-Man, this and that, they're all like a New York kid, but they're all like in the interviews it's like, oh yeah, I, I was in London. Like, Again. <laughs> it's so funny. Like I get that a lot and I'm like, guys, you do remember like it's just like you Brits coming over and taking our job. Yeah, I'm going like, crazy over Guys, there, we come <laughs> Like we come in in an American accent, right? But I it, mean, I, there's something to say about your theater and acting programs over there yeah. are insane. That's why yeah. all the actors are so good. Is yeah. because I, I could be wrong, but do you grow up in school with it? No, I didn't. I didn't um, personally. I I trained. In, oh God, I was a designer, and then I was a model for a while and then I thought you know what? I want to go back to drama school I just want to do it like because it scared me as well right mm. and it was honestly the most because I'm quite shy like I was quite shy at school right but um it was honestly the most terrifying thing like because over there it's like they think you should be 
I don't know, like grateful to be an actor. Like, mm, right. doesn't matter. You, you know, it's like, do it for the craft, do it for the. And like, they're <laughs> so tough on you. Right. Well, and here were, we're like, where's my Bentley? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is my Bentley? Can I get paper sides, please? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can't yeah. do this shit on my screen. I need yeah. paper sides. <laughs> um, but it was great, though. I mean, it's great discipline. Right. It's a great discipline, you know, like, get there on time, show up, do, you know, work, a, know work shit. together. Right work as a group like an ensemble which is great right what theater teaches you because you just have to rely on each other a bit and lift each other which i think is a really lovely way of working of course as an actor. Yeah. you started on stage yeah well we train we yeah we just they train you that way right. so like you might even if even if you're in the middle of the room you're kind of like acting to the room right, or in yeah. the round or that you know did, did you did find it hard to, to switch over to um tv and film or no it was easy um for me, I liked it because I like the like small nuances and stuff. Right, like I'd love to go back on stage as well, which is terrifying. But I yeah, like I it all. Just imagine bro being on stage I just love live it all. performance. Yeah. yeah. That's scary. I mean, I saw what was my last thing in New York. I saw To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, nice. It was so Did good. Did you see it with um uh what's his name? Uh, Bridget Bridges. Yes. Jeff Bridges. No, no, no. Oh. Uh, uh, um, Jeff. Uh, he's from um. Uh, Dumb and Dumber. What's his name? Yeah, I it's, it's it was... not Jeff Bridges. What is oh, Jeff Daniels. Daniels. Jeff Daniels. Sorry. Yes. I was, yes. I, was too mixed up. I saw it with him. Like the first, like oh, it was like yes. opening night or something. Insane. Uh, he was phenomenal. Insane. And it just made me think. Oh my God, I just want to go back and do some of that. Like, right. But it's so lovely to be inspired like that. I love it. Right. Did, was the first play, uh, the first live performance, was that Patina? Yeah, I would say no. I, I saw. I've, I've seen a play with Omari like three, four years ago. Maybe five. Now that I think about it. I forgot the I forgot the the exact name. It was like the Fisherman's something. It was off Broadway or on Broadway? No, it wasn't. It wasn't a Broadway play. It was like a small play. Like yeah, it was, I love it was those like, small plays. Yeah, yeah, it was better. dope though. It had some a, like, of those theaters. It was fantastic. fire. I forgot the name of it. It was, it was fire though. But yeah, yeah. Um, Patina's was like one of the first. That's that's the first like big. Yeah, we saw her do Into the Woods. Oh insane. wow, insane. She's insane. She's killing oh, it. Oh my She's god, going crazy, She's bro. And like oh. just because like especially that we see her as like you know like we've been watching Raising Canaan a lot. I love yeah. it. And then we just go to Broadway, we see her just step into a whole new, like, yeah. start singing it's and amazing. doing it. Like, it's insane. I love her. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, no, so so, <laughs> so you do some traditional theater on stage. When do you go, okay, I want to take this seriously. I mm. want to, you know, do this as a profession. Do, mm. Maybe when do you see it as possible? Like, when does that yeah. click for you? I think I'd saw, so I remember, I never forget, I saw um, Mark Rylance in Jerusalem uh -huh. when I was... Yeah, when I lived in London and I thought, God, I just, I don't know what he's doing, but my whole body was like, right. like ting. I was like, I just got, to, I've just got to do that. It's just amazing. Right. So that's when I went and decided to like take two years off and train. But um, yeah, I mean, I just, I just thought, well, this is what I'm good at. I'm going to have to, I didn't really question it. I was mm. just like, Let's not really it. good at anything else. <laughs> it's gonna have to work. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> when there's no plan on. B, when there's, there's no plan no B, plan you're B. like, just I go. I mean, my brother says to me, God, Mel, I think about when you first started, your American accent was well dodgy. It was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> But he was like, you're great. Right. You're doing great, sis. You really like, can't even tell now. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. Really but it And it takes time. I thought I was, you know, I thought, oh, my American accent's pretty good. But um, I came to America and I was like, whoa. <laughs> there are so many different, like, dialects. Yeah. And it's yeah. almost like you need to choose one person and really kind of develop Trying that kind of that, way. Yeah. And then, you know, then I was on a, a show called This Is Us and they got me a dialect coach who's amazing. Mm -hmm. So and we, he's really nuanced in how... He trains and studies and stuff. Nice. That's fine. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting. If you put like five people from different areas in the UK yeah. with their accents, I would say they all sound the same. <laughs> so I couldn't yeah. imagine you coming here and I, like just the way you, my ears work, I'm like, I can't tell the difference from the UK yeah. accents. Yeah, and there's so many like, that's UK. cool, sure, that's this. I, like, I, don't know the, I don't know the difference. <laughs> but it is a lot of different UK <laughs> accents. That's, it's weird. Like they're some small. of them are so weird. Yeah, Michael, has, more Michael has dated so every model in the UK, so oh, he really? knows them better than me. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of course you have. <laughs> TP. <laughs> wait, wait, do you get recognized a lot from Power in the UK? Well, we this is what I was going to say. It's nuts. I was recently it's there crazy. and Notting Hill no. Carnival was going on. Mm -hmm. And pow Power in the UK is Bro, it's massive. Unreal, I gotta I go. It's ma yeah, oh, you won't yeah. be able to walk down the street. It's yeah. crazy. I, I, was the, I, I just hear, Professor. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. Like I was staying in Shoreditch and I was like, they go crazy oh out there, right? Oh my God, I had glasses on, my hair was back, like my hair wasn't even out and curly. It was like, right. Professor, it's you. And then there was a guy in my hotel and I was with my boyfriend and uh, 
And we kind of walked around to the elevator and he heard this kind of, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. That's her. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, I, I... And someone came around and said, look, can I, can I take a picture? I'm <laughs> such a massive fan. That's so sweet. Yeah, I realized how big power was like in, in, in the UK when I went to Dream Weekend for the first time, like three years ago. In UK? In UK? In, no, in Jamaica. Uh -huh. In Jamaica. Oh. And like, it's people from all over the world come to Dream Weekend. So, yeah. like, and it'd be a lot of people from like the UK. And the amount of people that came up to me from the UK, like, yo, Tariq, Tariq. Oh, like, bro, it was wild. crazy. They love bro. Like, you guys. What? Absolutely UK, they go, in, they go insane for yeah. us, bro. That's wild. That's wild. Ins <laughs> Listen, we know it's Halloween. But we don't want you to have any werewolf situation going yeah, on down there. Yeah, yeah, listen, you can't be looking spooky down there. Yeah. It's not going to work. You can't have patches on your pumpkins, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's hair on your balls. Mike, have you ever tried to shave your balls and it turned into a Freddy Krueger film? Uh, I mean, you know. Just cool. me? Okay, cool. I got a lot of stuff going on down there. <laughs> because I didn't have Manscaped. But now... We smooth, baby. Yeah. Even though it's not a smooth sack summer, we still carrying the smooth sacks into the fall. We're not it's playing like a scream, baby. That knife just goes in and comes right out clean. <laughs> Listen, man, we're trying to avoid the tricks and have more treats. So this is what you're going to do. Wait, I want some tricks over here. <laughs> oh, we talking about a different thing. Go on, man. <laughs> <laughs> But listen. You want more treats, you get that Performance Pack 4.0. I mean, you can't lose with it. You can't lose. All right, so now for those that don't know, what does the Performance Pack 4.0 consist of? It's got the Crop Preserver, Mike. It's got the Crop Reviver. Bring it's that shit back to life. It's got the Crop Duster. I made that last one up. It's got the first two, though. <laughs> I'm the Crop Duster in here. Okay. But you know what is real? They did just release a new body buffer. Whatever the f So it's 100% antibacterial body scrub, you know what I'm saying? You could <clears throat> exfoliate, you know what I'm saying? Get the, the, the skin smooth, you know? You gotta get that shit smooth. I have always wanted to be just a hairless boy, just no hair on me, you know what I mean? <laughs> now listen, you know how it goes. You want that 20% off, you want that free shipping, go to manscaped.com and use the promo code Cool. Come use on, the don't... promo code Cool. come on. It's Support Halloween, the boys. Okay, we want scary stuff happening. We don't want you to look at your cart and go, oh, that's scary. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? My right. bank account's scary. You know, that's not gonna happen. 20% off promo code yeah. and no shipping, baby. Promo code crew, C R E W. Simple as that. Simple now as back that. to the episode, baby. Back to so, so you, you, uh, okay, I'm gonna so take this seriously. <laughs> well, that's kind of what we do. Yeah, 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 we always go on a tangent, and then I'm just sitting here like, okay, back on track. <laughs> <laughs> it's so My good. secret sauce. This is why me and Michael work so well together. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, he'll go on a little tangent, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get us back on track. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <me> <laughs> Um, so yeah, so you, you move to the US. What's the first thing that you book that you're like, oh my God? Like, oh, this is crazy. Oh, my God. I booked, um, oh, what was my first job? I think I did, I did like, something for CSI. Oh, cool. Like, cool. It was, like, my first job. I was, like, a, a guest, a right. guest star. They call that, like, network, so they call it, like, yeah. network approved. Oh, okay. So, like, once, like, in, in the U.S., it's kind of like, so once you get your first TV credit on a network. Yeah. Oh. It, it means like that the casting director, they trust you enough to go on set that you'll, because they're putting themselves on the line for you as an actor. Yeah. Um, because weirdly enough, like if you're um, a director of a um, TV show, you come in for one episode, you don't choose the actors. It's mainly producers for like CSI, Law and Order, like all those long running shows. Mm. But for f movie and, and TV and, fi uh, and, and films like that, the director chooses the actor. So it kind of works differently with TV and film. Yeah. But once you're network approved, then it's easier to book on other shows and the network is like, oh, she's Hopefully. done CSI. Yeah, and so she's you, not crazy. Right, <laughs> right. She's not right. going to well, do something crazy, crazy on set. Well, you are crazy, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so, a little bit crazy. A little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> so, so you get network approved and yeah. then... So go on with that story and then I, I want to say, if does it get like easier after that or you're still like day yeah, one? Yeah, no, I was hustling. I mean, I came here and, you know, the hustle's real. Like, you think as well, as well as coming from another country, you're like, God, you know, they've given me... Um, you know, a visa, so it's just like, I just, yeah, I was just busy. Right. Reading, classes, auditioning, and funny, pilot season here is such a different rate to UK, like, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Like, in the UK, you might get one audition a week, so you get some time on it, you can work on it, you can really do a good job. Right. Here it was like, welcome to pilot season, and mm -hmm. for me, I had three <laughs> auditions a day. 
Yeah, and that's it was crazy. crazy. Well, you wanted to actually like. Well, it was too much for me. Right. You know. So you just choose what you want. Yeah. Well, I had to, but <laughs> in the beginning, you're like trying to Not please the everyone and is kind crazy, of. Crazy, bro. Yeah. I, oh my god, I would panic. So like, how how many auditions or yeah, how many auditions did you did you, would you say you went through before you booked your first like that first role out here the the CSI role? Um. Oh, a lot. Do you know what was so and great, though? Did you have though? any, like, terrible auditions? Like, did I've you... had some terrible <laughs> auditions. Terrible. But that's what I was going to say. Going mm. back to, um, you know, they gave me three auditions a day and I wanted to please everyone. But I And back then, my accent was like, you know, I'd kind of layer it on top of learning the light. And I don't, I, I don't really want to do... You know, it's hard to do off book for it, like, to read, to do a cold read... Right. Or even accent. be familiar with, with it in an accent that right. you're not solid. But now I could. Right. Because I... You know, I can do the accent all day long. But um, there it was like, ooh, slip in the accent. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it wasn't until I said, listen, no, I need one audition a day. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> it wasn't, well, that's not the whole story. I, I had a terrible pilot season. I'll tell you this for all the actors out there. Mm -hmm. I had a terrible pilot season and my team were were on the phone at the end of it and they were like... Mel, maybe you should do a few more classes. Maybe you should do some accent work. And I was like, guys, it's not that I can't do it. I can do it. And right. I'm good at what I do, but I can't do this amount. I, I just not, I'm not giving, I've not been given enough time to do the work that I need to do, the quality right. of the work that I need to do. So I said, just please give me one audition a day. I only need one job and I'll book it for you. I promise. Mm. Sure enough, that's how it worked. And then after that, I booked my first series regular job, which was a show in Canada called um, uh, Dark Matter, Fine. which was all kind of like oh, dark stunts. Matter. Okay. And, so, yeah, um, there were some people that asked the fan questions. I, what, yeah. what was it on? It was on um, Sci-Fi Network in oh, Canada. Cool. It was and That's lit. Was it here? I'm not sure what it was on here. Did you shoot in Vancouver? We shot in Toronto. Oh, dope. Through right. the winter. Oh, he, was like, was cold as fuck. he was yeah. cold as fuck. He was cold as fuck. It was like minus... <laughs> 15 or oh, something for like, yeah. Hell and then how many yeah. seasons did that go? I just did one season. Nice. Mm. And at the time, I remember thinking, oh, been killed off one season. Because I was like, I've made it. Like, oh, you, first, oh, you died in one season. Your first series oh, regular right. role. It's like, yes, right. it feels so good, you mm -hmm. know. And I remember being really gutted when they killed me off. But right. then in hindsight, it was great. Right. Then, then I got my next job. I think I had three months off and then I got my next job called Gypsy, which was a show on Netflix with Naomi Watts and Billy Crudup, which was amazing because I learned so much from them and just did one season again. And we we actually didn't get picked up, but it was, um, we didn't get picked up for a second season, but that was really cool. And then you just learn and you can kind of jump right. to the next mm -hmm. level and different, and just get to work on different characters. So it was quite nice to do that. And then I did another one and a half seasons on This Is Us. Nice. And I was like, Fire. when is someone mm. going to book me for more than one season? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. mm. and, right. um, but again, it was great because in hindsight, like I got to do all these different things, kind of move around, do different characters and kind of, you know, build your quota. There, there's, there's something about that that's yeah. so, that's so free. Yeah. <laughs> Get, Get paid. There's something about that that's actually freeing. Like if yeah. you're on one show for a while, like yeah. you're like, damn, like, Am I gonna be able to go to the next thing? As yeah. opposed to like, right. you're doing one season every year. You're like, yeah. oh, this shit is easy. I could jump right. from character I know to character. I can like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it kind so, of keeps. It does keep you on your toes as well. Because right. you're like, oh, don't get, don't you get know, don't get too comfy because right. you know you never know what's going mm -hmm. down. You're like, you're like, please just put me on a show where people don't get murdered. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Yeah, right. <laughs> and then she busts power. power. She's like, here yeah, we go. <laughs> oh shit! Here we go again. Yeah. I remember I got to the end of season one. I'm like. Still here. <laughs> like, I'm still right, here. We good. <laughs> it's so funny though with power, like nobody's safe. Yeah, yeah you, you, <laughs> could, you could safe. see where your character's going, yeah. and you're like, I think I'm good. And then all of a sudden, one episode, nope. you're like, Wait, whoa, 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 what <laughs> happened? Yep. You're like, oh, be, yeah. you're doing this crazy shit. You're like, No, no, no. Yeah, yeah one thing. So much is happening thing. all at once, and you're like, Whoa. You, you, know, right. you don't see it's it coming. Mind blowing. Nope. So as y'all know, and if you didn't know. We got some new friends, man. We got some new friends, but Michael has a dispensary in Jamaica for people who didn't know that. Yes, Herbs Jamaica. Yes. And it's right these are one my, of the products right that life. we've really been loving lately. Yeah, I might have to throw these in my, in my, in my dispensary. I'm not going to lie. These are freeze pipes. But yeah, it cools the smoke down, no throat burn. 
smooth, calm hits. Very smooth. And this is all medical. This is all for medical stuff. It's for medical purposes, you know what I'm saying? You got some, like, you know, a little anxiety. I mean, that's not medical, but, you know what I'm saying? A little <laughs> joint pains, you know what I'm saying? You know, let it up, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, they got some. This is fire, though. I'm not going to lie. The freeze pipe. And they got a they got a bigger one. They got an even bigger bottle. Oh, they have a bunch of different products shit, that they have. Man. So the secret is the freezable glycerin chamber. Oh, I love this shit. I could just, like, move it around with yep. the glycerin. And it comes around. on every single piece, and that's what gets that shit. Cool. All right, so basically it cools it down, you know what I'm saying? So it, it causes for like a, you know, smoother, less hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's no chest burn. and throat burn, you know right. what I'm saying? Exactly. I, that's what I need, bro. Sometimes I wake up the next morning and my throat be killing me. I know, I be, I, you know, I'm, but, you know, I'm smoking the grabs. That's why I'm going to grab grab You know what I'm saying? Where the grab at? No grab no more. So I'm going to be at the club. I'm going to be like, yo, can you guys pop this in the freezer real quick? <laughs> Come get me in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Facts though. You know, back in the day, you know, might have had a little ghetto days, you know what I'm saying? Threw a little ice cubes in the bong or whatever. Back in the day, you're 21. You know, I'm getting old. I'm 21 now. I oh. feel like I'm getting, now that I'm 21, I can say I'm getting old. I feel yeah. like I'm valid to use back in the day. Okay, right, I got 21 you. now, you feel right, me? Right, 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 day, right. You know what I'm saying? But now there's no more of that. Now, look, we got the freeze pipe, baby. This shit freezes faster than water and it stays frozen for longer. So, like, yeah. you can't lose with this, bro. Hey, but here we have the freeze pipe, baby. Bongs, bubblers, dab rigs, and a lot more at thefreezepipe.com. So, so you were on This Is Us when you booked Power, correct? No, I just, I'd wrapped up This Is Us, and I'd had, yeah, I'd, I'd for, yeah, maybe, a, not for long, actually, maybe a couple of months, and then um, um, my team said, oh, Courtney, um, Courtney Kemp wants to have a call with you, and I was go. like, mm -hmm. whoa, Courtney Kemp want Power. <laughs> like, I'd, no, I'd known of Power because I knew Lala, like, I did a... A movie with her in Curacao. We did this amazing movie, and I saw oh, her on shout those out billboards. Lala. We love Lala. What movie was yeah. it? Yeah, shout out to my auntie. It, I love her. <laughs> it was called Double Play, nice, and nice. Uh, she was so sweet. And um, she was, yeah. We, I think we briefly mentioned the show that she was on, and the, these massive billboards in Times Square. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. Um, and then so yeah, I was just really excited and spoke to. Um, Courtney. Courtney. Getting that call from Courtney is probably like, whoa. Which was amazing. The goat. She's so sweet. So what'd she say what in the call? she say? Yeah, like... She, she, Courtney was straight in there. She was like, lovely to see. This is the character. <laughs> what do you think about the character? She went dealt, like, into detail in right. char about Carrie, um, how flawed she was, how messy she is, and how complex and layered. And, right. Um, yeah, so I was like, God, this sounds great. So so I don't know if the people know this, and I don't know if we're, if we're allowed to say it, but whatever. Yeah. You replaced someone, correct? Yes. So so someone, did you? I had no idea from that call with Courtney that I was replacing someone. Right. She was just, I But just you didn't know. read for, for Carrie originally. No, were I didn't read at all. I, that I was, it was offered to me. Oh, uh, so perfect. So so basically, there was someone else who was cast yeah. as Professor Milgram. She did three episodes. I don't think I ever met her. We were at table reads, but it was yeah. so overwhelming. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't remember me. I don't know who the actress was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she. it was like a conflict, and then she got replaced, and then here comes Melanie it's coming amazing. in. amazing. And right when Melanie walked in, I was like, oh, who's <laughs> Professor Milgram? I was like, oh, shit. What well, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so you just got it straight offered to you. You didn't even yeah. need to go in the room. Room or any of that. I know. Well, luckily, you know, maybe they needed someone quickly. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Honestly, like. And Courtney, I think they sent Courtney some of my work, and yeah, I was like, I'd love right. to be in, like a, an honor. Because because decision. we shot that scene um, where so the scene where uh, everyone starts recording um, Tariq at the yes, at the, 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 the vigil, yeah, with, yeah. yeah, with the picture of ghosts, yeah, and you know, Braden smacks the phones out of the way, and you're like, oh my god, we shot that with the original wow. actor. Oh. And then, like four months later, we came back and reshot that same exact scene. Yeah. yeah. But they did keep some stuff from the original one, but they, they, yeah. Just, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, we shot that twice, but I don't remember who the other actress was. Me neither. I She's believe. probably great. It was just a, a conflict of, um, of yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's crazy because Jabari got replaced. Yeah, I was just wow. about to say oh, that Jabari I was a that. So we yeah, both, yeah. like, the, yeah. yeah. Right. Because I, just... I, yeah, I, I was on and I filmed a lot with the old Jabari. And then it was like, nope. The new mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And Justin's Justin. so amazing. Yeah, my boy Damn, Justin. Yeah, Justin's the best. Justin's yeah, so We're going to have him on here soon. I love yeah. him. Sorry I had to do that to you, my boy. <laughs> they made me oh, do yeah. it, man. They made yeah. me do it. I fucking Brutal. miss Justin, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he replaced someone, too. I don't, I don't remember who the person was. I don't even remember meeting the person, either. Yeah. But he replaced someone, too. That's crazy. Yeah. You guys both. That's, that's insane. Yeah. So what, what was your first day on set? Do you remember what scene it was? Um, I had so much to catch up on. 
and it was it was hectic. Did you like, watch the whole All Power yeah. before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did, you know, I was like, oh, I'll just watch a few episodes here right. and there. And then I was and like, then you ended up just watching I watched all, the whole thing. Yeah, right. I was addicted. You like, can't addicted. just watch a few episodes. You right. just end up wanting to know no more. Literally, and more and I literally worse. watched one to six like a beast. Like, I was just hooked. <laughs> That's what happened to me too because it's like yeah. I uh, I was on the show, but I didn't want to watch when I was on season five and six. I didn't want to watch it because I didn't want to know more than I should have. Because mm. right. like. This originally was a scene which I've said before where Tommy comes into the um, the dorm room. And okay. I, if I had seen Six Seasons of Power, I would have reacted differently. But I'm like, oh. I don't know who this guy is coming yes. in. He just says, get the fuck out. He looks menacing and I leave. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I finished season six of Power and then I watch again. I wanted to do like you did. Yeah. Like I just wanted to be like, okay, what's this show about? I, w I remember <laughs> specifically Uber eating food for like three days in a row. <laughs> I did not leave my yeah. apartment. I'm like, I'm on this? I'm like, this show yeah. is crazy. Yeah. It, it, it just hooked me immediately. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just a testament to the actors, the yeah. writers. And Amari, I mean, right. he's phenomenal, so. Right. Unreal. Yeah. Amari I'm and, um, didn't just who's he? Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm going to do one an episode. Yeah, right. I want an episode until. <laughs> but it's crazy to see you, like, grow up as well, like, on screen. My it's trying amazing. to get old now. I'm out here in L.A. We getting swole. Been in the gym. About to get, you I'm know what I'm saying? I'm getting this dude huge. Yeah, I'm getting ripped for the next season. Yeah. About to come back looking like ghosts, you know what I'm saying? Love <laughs> it. Muscle on the boy. <laughs> but, yeah, now it's been crazy growing up on this show, like, mm. The the ups and downs was well, not it hasn't been no downs for real, but it's just nothing but ups. But like yeah. except for like the crazy fan, like some of the crazy. Oh well, yeah, like they were like, had, <laughs> they had it in for Tariq at some point. Oh man, they still like, do it. I ain't gonna lie, some of them still do. It's like a good 35-40 percent of them that still still got it out for Tariq, but the rest been showing love. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, it is crazy to grow up in front of the world like that. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, I couldn't weird, imagine bro. that. The world feels like they really grew up with me. Like I grew right. up with them, like they see me really yeah. become a man from being 11, 12 years old. That shit right. is weird. It's wild. When I think yeah. about it, it's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, some people don't even have baby pictures. Like, you can go back and literally look at every stage of your life through yeah. power. Yeah. That's insane yeah. to think and about. And stuff you, did you do something before power as well? Yeah, I've done, I've done a few things before power. I've done, like, I've done, um, I was in Orange is the New, did I start Orange is the New Black before? Oh, before you've been power? on it before. I, I've been in Orange is the New Black, um, I've done like movies. I've done Sex Chance Christmas. The first movie I've ever done in America was Love. I did that with Common, Dennis Haysbert, oh, Charles well, I might Dutton have seen was that in one, it. Actually. Yeah, you yeah. were. Small. I was like, I was like, a, ten when yeah. I did that. That's yeah, I just wild. turned ten. Yeah, I just turned ten when I did that movie. And then my first movie ever, I filmed in Europe actually in Italy, when Altro Mondo. It was like full oh, Italian, wow. and some of it was actually in Swahili too. So I learned like a little bit of like African language for it. Cool. But yeah, I've done I've done I've done a good amount of things before power and then like once once I started on power though it's just been it's just been power, power, yeah. power. Yeah. I've done like things in between, like barbershop. I did that on the hiatus of season two going into season three. And that's why they ended up like they saw like I guess they saw what, what I can do after I did that movie. Yeah. And then like season three they just started writing me in a lot more, a lot more. And then four, five, and six, and it was just out of there from there. Yeah. But yeah, Barbershop, I feel like Barbershop 3 was the one that really kind of made them like pay a little more attention to me and like what I could mm. do. So shout out to, to Ice Cube and everybody over there. They, <laughs> they was rocking with me at Barbershop. <laughs> yeah, that's so dope. Especially filming in Europe, like that's a dream of mine. Bro, I lived out there for a year and a half, bro. Like, what, for that movie? Yeah. Wow. I was in Italy for a year and a half. Oh, it's, and Italy's beautiful. Yeah, I lived right, like, right down the block from the Vatican. It was crazy. I had a fire wow. apartment. It was insane. I was out there with my moms. It was crazy. Like, I spent I spent about four four months just being there. Like yeah. I was there four months without filming, just learning the whole script, learning the language. Cause like I would I learned the script itself in about like three weeks, but I didn't really know what I was saying. So you know, like it would be weird. Oh, like right. so you were Italian all the way through it. Yeah, yeah. Cause like wow. the, the character I played, he was um his mom was Italian, his dad was African. Yeah. And basically the kid was in Africa, and his bigger brother, well um he ended up going to Africa and looking for him and. It's a crazy story, cool, cool. but yeah, I learned. That's Italian. not bad for a first job, is it? Oh, I'm mean, gonna <laughs> live in Italy for yeah. a year and a half. Well, so I, live in, I live in Rome. Eat Italian He's 12. food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because yeah, we first went out there for like ten days just to like see what was going on out there. Mm. We met like it was a Universal picture, so we went out there and like met the production, and everything. 
And my mom was like, do you really want to do this? I was like, yes, bro. I'm like, what? Yeah, how long? <laughs> they said, we'll be here for a year and, and three months. I said, yeah, yeah. We, we're here. So, like, the first four months I just spent, like, just being there, experiencing Italy, learning the language, and then learning what I was actually saying. Because, like I said, I learned the script in, like, three weeks, but, like, I didn't know what I was saying, so yeah. I didn't know what emotions to put behind Firstly, certain yeah. words and then just being there for a while. Just didn't like, you shoot in Bulgaria, too, where you stayed in, like, a tent? Yeah, yeah, no, no, that was in Africa. I stayed in a, I stayed in a tent in Africa, but that, that was insane. We stayed in, a, in this village called um it was named Amboseli. It was insane, bro. It was like a village where um after a certain time the electricity they turn it off like to save save power. It was insane, bro. I was like, mm. yo, when I tell you the first night there, bro, I was like, nah, this is weird. I can't do this shit, bro. Yo, <laughs> Where's I, my PS4? <laughs> bro, when, bro, when I tell you I seen every color spider there is, bro, I seen a red spider, blue spider, aren't I'm like, nah, nope. this shit's scary. The second <laughs> the morning I woke up, like the the tents we had, there was like a little like water, like like a few feet away from it. There was a hippo in the fucking water, like probably like wow, 15, that's yeah. that's dangerous hippos. Yeah, like, what like fifteen like feet away from my tent? I was like, nah, we're not doing this. Wow. I had to. I was like, nah, y'all gotta move my shit. I, <laughs> I stayed in. I, I Give me up, at the Four Seasons <laughs> Africa. I'm not staying here. <laughs> bro, it was. In every day. Bro, there was like a there was like a cabin and like it wasn't it was like. Like a, like around like the same. It was in the same village, but it wasn't a tent. It was a cabin. Like right. it was like wood yeah. and shit. I was like, yeah, I gotta put. But me still, in this I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really great experience. And like a oh, friend nah. of mine said, just you know, remember to get the tube every now and then. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like right. yeah, we nah. have to live and have experiences if you want to bring that to your work and mm -hmm. your and be as authentic as possible. And like, yeah, you nah, know, was... not just sit in the LA bubble, guys. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, I nah. have that problem too. Sometimes I'm like, work, work, act, act, act. This, not. Yeah. Like, no, it actually live, supplements your your yeah. work if you go. Go travel Absolutely, if you go see other places. Yeah. Where's like the coolest or craziest place you've ever filmed? Uh, oh, filmed. Um, oh goodness. Because there's something about filming somewhere because they they pay for the flight, they put you up everywhere, yeah, that's and you get to live I mean, like a local. Like, I, mm -hmm. And I love that. I love right. traveling. I mean, like you, like I love working in in Europe and. Right. I I've filmed a couple. I've lived a couple of times in Budapest, Cape Ooh, Town. That's fire. So I mean, one of my first jobs actually before I came to America was for a show called Strike Back, and they said, um, "Okay, Mel, this is your first job. We're gonna fly you to Cape Town." And I literally, they got me. This, I lived in a hotel for a month, fire. and they got me this apartment, and I was like. Wow, this is this acting that's sounds fire. amazing. Yeah, that is yeah. cool. Yeah. And then all the other yeah. actors were like. Yeah, it's downhill from here. This is like the prestigious <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. job yeah. ever. Like it was just like yeah. I was just I was just on the beach most days. You know when they just leave you because like oh yeah we we might be we might need you in a couple of weeks. I was like and they okay. give you the per diem too. They give you the per diem. <laughs> yeah. like, so I was living it up, and I've lived in Cape Town before when I was modelling, but um. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. And Budapest, I've lived a couple of times. Budapest is crazy. Yeah, I was in, I was in um, Greece or, or Germany in January, and Hernan, who, you, yes. you remember Hernan? Hernan's lovely. The best. Yeah. He was in Budapest directing um, FBI, Most Wanted, I think it was. Okay. And we tried to link up. There was, like, COVID stuff that um, yeah. I think someone on set got it, so he had to, like, quarantine. Oh. But I was going to go see him, but he was shooting in Budapest. He's like, it was one of the greatest experiences ever. Yeah. I'm like, that's well, a dream of mine, too. Yeah, I mean... Um, Someone I know that was out there recently, and it's just, he said it was amazing. Yeah. It's changed a lot. In what sense? Yeah. In positive or? Food. Right. It's like foodie and bars and restaurants and, yeah. Yeah. Lots of tourists. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so you, yeah. you're you on power. Yeah. And then when do you see, like, people start calling you Professor Milgram? Like, is it get yeah. crazy in New York? Like, what what's the journey from there? New York's crazy. I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> like, we had that first season, and it was just getting going, and then we shut down for COVID. Right. But that was the worst. But um, once we picked up again, it was because then, you know, we were walking around New York and no one could really see us with masks or anything like that. But mm -hmm. when we came back, it wait, was like... Wait, you were one of those? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, no. <laughs> we were kidding. like one of the first shows to go back. Yeah, you know, we I remember saying to, uh, to Bart, like, Bart, I'm not American. I'm really, I'm a bit frightened. Like, <laughs> wait, in what sense? It, like when we first, like COVID, like when we first right. went back, because we were being tested like all the time. Right. And they bought those rapid tests before anyone, before they'd even been approved, I think. And then, and I said to Bart, look, if, um, you know, don't let me die, don't <laughs> let me die alone <laughs> in the hospital. I swear yeah. that, like, this was like a real legit conversation. I was just like, I know this sounds dramatic, but, you know, people are dying on their own in hospitals. Can you just fly my family out, Do you, you know, because they're not here and I don't know anyone in New York. Right. And he was like, yeah, no, I, I, they're not going to let family in because it's a two-week quarantine. And I was like, Damn, what the yeah. 
Yeah, nah, she yeah. was But wicked. we're fine. Yeah, yeah, we, right. that. we made yeah. it through. He's like, you won't die in real life, but you're definitely dying in season two. <laughs> 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 we're allowed to talk about it now. Yeah, yeah, now it's fine. Yeah, uh, whatever. That was such a long but, uh, time ago. <laughs> right. So season one comes out, and uh, yeah. are you happy with your work? Are you like, uh, did you want your character to go anywhere else? Like, what was the feedback? Yeah, from- I just wanted more. I right. wanted, I just, no, I loved it. I wanted Carrie to go over to the dark side. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. get Carrie on the streets. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted her out of the um, the school. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to get out of the school, and I wanted to like, you know, do some bad shit. Because <laughs> yeah, you see the fun stuff happen, and you're like, it's yeah. like you see like Woody and stuff. Yeah, the, the stuff that King like, gets to her, do. Give her something. Right. Yeah, that shit is fun. Right. Yeah, yeah. even Jabari got to go out. Yeah, a bit, right. he got, he went out like a gangster. Yeah, yeah like right, a gangster, right. A bit. But um, yeah, it's funny because I got a. What is it? I think Courtney reached out to us all in towards the end of season one, and I, th- and I texted her. I was like, "Just tell me if this is it. Just tell me it's okay. <laughs> right. Just so I can enjoy the weekend." Just let me she's know. Like, she's like, "No, Melanie, you're fine." Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, man. If you're getting a call from CK, oh, it's like God. it could either be very great news or very right, bad right, news. Right, right, right. Like, yeah. I got a lot, I got another whatever, whatever, or I'm dying. It's like, there's no in between. It's so funny because Courtney doesn't realize that. Like, yeah. uh, she does, but like, so she'll text me randomly sometimes, be like, hey, can you call me? And, and I'll be like, or, or she'll be like, can, yeah. can we talk in an hour? And I'm like, no, we can't talk in an hour. We need to talk right now. Yeah, yeah, like now because gotta... I can't do anything else until you tell me what it's about. Yeah, and I'll yeah. call her and she'll be like, oh, hey, do you just want to like grab lunch on Friday? I'm like, oh, <laughs> Courtney, <laughs> I thought my Porsche was getting repossessed. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but, then, but then she'll act like we're crazy. She'll be like, oh, no, why would you even think that? And I'm like, well, uh, What do you mean, why right? would we think that? Yeah. It's so funny with that. Uh, she's like, oh, no, I had no guys. idea. <laughs> right. Nah, yeah. Yeah, CK oh, she's only. literally the best human ever. Yeah. And you You've obviously had a lot of interaction with her. Yeah. There's nobody like her. I know. Nobody I want to work with her thing. again. Uh, yeah. Something on Netflix. Something on Netflix. Yeah. 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 Corny. <laughs> Corny. Yeah. Get me on something on Netflix. <laughs> uh. um, so, yeah. so uh, season two happens now. Yeah. You, you start seeing where your character is going. Are you like, hush, oh, fuck, this is it? Yeah, I loved it. I mean, it was great. Like season two when we went into was it the end? Oh no, when did Carrie start um, having an affair with Dan with um? Zeke. I thought that was season one. That was at the end, towards the end of season one, and right, then right. like, or was it midway? Yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, then it gets all dark. Like in season two, it was like, mm. ooh, it got heavy, which was great. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. it was great to kind of explore that um, with Jabari and then Daniel and yeah, who, and then Lorenz came in. Oh, that was oh, so wait. fun. <laughs> Yo, Lorenz is the goal. Working with him just, is, is, is my, brother. <laughs> my brother. My brother. It just made me die on set, and yeah. I'd just be trying to keep a straight face. Yeah. I just don't laugh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Working with yeah. Lorenz is, is insane, yeah. bro. Yeah, he's so, yeah. really fun. So you get the script, and you're dying, and what, like... Do, who oh, call- towards the end? Yeah, I, I want to hear, like, what was the conversation? Oh. What was... Um, well, what was it? I, do you know what? I had a feeling, because if you really pay attention, right. Courtney does this thing in the scripts, like, where Carrie kept on saying this thing, like, um, oh, it was about living and dying. It was just some, I can't remember exactly what it was, but right. I was like, oh, she keeps on saying that thing. She's going to die. Right. I just knew, I just knew it. <laughs> right. I kind of knew it was coming. Right. Do you know what I mean? And I felt like, you know, it was going to go out of the school, away from the school, and Jabari wasn't there anymore. So it just kind of made sense. And mm. so when I got the... Before I'd even read it, you know, I got the call from from Courtney and she... um, Yeah, she said... She told me. Right. She's, and I was like, oh, OK, I had a kind of a feeling. <laughs> the call. And... Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, the death was full on. I still get people come up to me and say... How did she carry really die? Did she really commit the suicide or was it? Mm. And I was like, no, it was Monet. Right, right, of course. Of yeah. course. That's, yeah. some, that's some shit right there. But yeah, people yeah. still ask me that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's it's wild. That was heavy though. Yeah. And then Daniel finding her body and Yo, yeah, that was deep. That was, that was some shit. He's like, yeah. what the f- like what happened? Yeah, because I saw you on set that day that you that you di- that you we got the call that like you died in the script. Yeah. I didn't read the script yet. Yeah. And I came to your trail, I was like, hey, what up, Mel? And she's like, yeah. you were like, did you read the script? I was like, no. She's like, I'm li-. I was like, no. no. Yeah, that'd be the like, worst. Right, that'd be the you, worst. Because we haven't seen you since the season two premiere, right? Premier Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. That's yeah. the last time I've seen you. So yeah. sometimes when people like it's like you just don't get to see them a lot yeah. anymore. That's the hardest part in my yeah. opinion. 
No, it is. Because um, we build bonds on you. Right. You know, and it really is such a lovely environment on set. It's yeah. so nice. Right. And then I come, I literally come back like two hours later and she's on the phone with her agent. She's like, oh yeah, I'm doing a Kevin Hart movie. I'm like, ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I got her feet! Oh! <laughs> no time about wasted. Us real quick! <laughs> <laughs> no time wasted. No time oh, wasted. Oh my gosh, that's so, so funny. So, so, um, what, like, what, Let's let, we'll get into some power questions like yeah. like the stuff that we kind of ask everyone. So if you could be one other character in the power universe, who would you be? Well, everyone always says Woody. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Well, because but that's like the most fun. He's yeah. fun. He's really fun. Um, oh, I like Monet. Monet. I could see you being a great Monet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gangster. And um, yeah. yeah. Also, who else? I mean, obviously, Tariq, I'd, I'd right. have a go, for sure. Right. I'd, I'd want to be down and in there. And, <laughs> um, but also, Lorenz is, I mean, they're, yeah, just, yeah. I just, they're the characters I like. Right. Like, mm. It's just funny. I love those characters. You know, there's a bit that the, the, they bring so much kind of character and humour into it as well. Right. Like your character. Mm-hmm. You two together, yeah. like a double act. Right. So it just, it just complements each other really well. Right. So what about any characters from, like, the original, from the original series, from Power, like... Like Ooh, Ghost, Tommy, yeah. Tasha, he, Kanan, who, yeah. who, would, who would you be? Ghost. Ghost, yeah. yeah. I mean, what a great thing to explore. Yeah. <laughs> he was almost verg- verging on like um, like narcissistic, yeah. like, double personality, oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. like he was on psychopath. Some shit. <laughs> right. He was on some which is shit. just so great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. love like finding characters like that. Like, you just think they're. Like, cause in life, you just you'd never know they're like the most charming people in the world. Right, mm-hmm. but they got so many they got, ulterior, yeah. mo- ulterior motives. Yeah, I think shit. that's what Courtney, Courtney and Omari did so well of like portraying that. Yeah, mm-hmm. like this guy's really thinks he's never done anything wrong. <laughs> delusional, yeah. like, that's delusional. That is funny. The turns were just so fast and sweeping mm-hmm. and like and dramatic, whoa, like what so the? dramatic and mm-hmm. and so to be able to pull that off as a as a as an actor is really genius. Like the nuance that he brought to it. Um, yeah, it was a and to be believable, to keep too. the audience still with him. Right. Mm-hmm. I just thought it was so clever. Right. What What was your favorite scene you filmed as Professor Milgram? Um. Oh, what was my favorite scene? Uh, I liked the. Uh, not that I liked, but I just thought it was really dramatic when mm. I discovered Jabari. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Um, in the morgue. That whole thing. That yep. was just fun. that was kind of fun because even though I was like crying and like, mm-hmm. oh my god, you know, Justin was like covered in this makeup and he'd sit up. And like, <laughs> <laughs> there's, yeah. there's a video of that. I gotta put that in the crew. Has it? Yeah. And I was like, can you fucking stop? Yeah, yeah. I had to cry. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, where's so Crafty? Funny. He's like, he's got the dead makeup on his face. He's like, where's Crafty? <laughs> can so I get a water? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so funny. That was such a good day. Yeah. What what was the hardest scene you filmed as Professor Milgram? Um There's a lot of the hard scenes for There the was. A lot a, of oh my god, you know character. one? Like I was in the back of the car with um Mary mm. and she had a gun to my head. Right. And I didn't realize the like they gave her this fake gun, but it was heavy. Mm. Right. It's yeah. And it just whoa. And you don't realize until someone because she had a, this fake one that was lighter and then they switched out for the mm. take. Right. Mm. And I felt that and I was like, <gasps> Yeah. Right. It kind of works though. Whoa! Right. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was frightening. Right. It was that great to, to film with her though too. Yeah, no, yeah. Mary is elite. I love Mary. Oh, she's, she's amazing. She she's goes mad see, fun. She's so fun to work yeah. with. <laughs> like halfway through the scene, she goes, Mal, I saw you. You've been on Game of Thrones. That's my favorite show. I was like, <laughs> you have what? been on Game of Thrones. I just started uh, House of Dragon. Because oh, yeah, I've seen that. It's supposed to be really day. good. How many episodes did you do a Game of Thrones? Oh, I just did one. Like, oh, but yeah. it was so lovely right. to be involved, you know? Like, oh, that's so cool. What, did you, just, have, like, did you of, have to do anything crazy like, in it? Well, I just, they, your... well, the crazy thing is I, I auditioned for it and I, I had this whole speech to learn and it was in oh, English. Shit. And then they were like, actually, you're going to have to learn the language, High Valerian, and do it in like this language and like you say it doesn't make sense unless you actually know exactly what, what it's saying, talking about. Is it a made up language from the show? It's a made up language but it's real. Oh it the all fuck? makes sense and the, the fans know it so well that they're like oh no that's not doesn't make sense. Like they're that they've studied it that well and it what really fuck? it's nuts. So I want to do it properly so I had this month of working with a dialect coach for Game of Thrones before I even went on set. So it was they just had such their own a great, dialect though. <laughs> yeah. That's and then they flew crazy. us to Spain and then they transformed this this whole castle and the costumes and the hair and the, it was just really that set great. Incredible. incredible. Yeah, oh, it was amazing. The budget is probably insane. Yeah. yeah. 
That was That's just fun. Dope. It was just a fun one. Right. We're so lucky to do this job. That's Wait, did you get dope. killed on Game of Thrones? Did I get killed? No. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just came I'm in like, and I'm like, y'all gotta quit. Thank you gotta God. quit with my girl over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been killed a lot, though. I think I've had, like, I've been poisoned, stabbed. Poisoned is crazy. Um, yeah. A thing through the front because I was a vampire. Oh, dope. Oh, shit. What were you a vampire in? Uh, Dracula. Oh, that's with cool. With Jonathan Reese Myers. Um, yeah, I did one episode of that. That's dope. I've had a lot of deaths. Oh, I've been, yeah, properly hung. stabbed, like blood, hung. Oh, yeah. My God, that's why you just need to be. You just need to be shot now. But we're not gonna put that out in the universe because no. no more dying on TV shows. <laughs> um, um, where, so were the scenes like? Because you had probably the most sex scenes out of anyone in the first two seasons, right? I did in the first, in the first, in the second season. I didn't have any. Really? Yeah. She was going through some shit. She had time. She didn't have no right. time. It was like zero. Right. She ain't have no time. So, <laughs> she couldn't um, get busy. <laughs> yeah, which is good. <laughs> yeah, was, it hard, like, was it hard to prep for those for season one? Were you like, oh, fuck, I gotta um, go to the gym? Yeah, I gotta... they're always, they're, they're, you know, they're, you're self conscious right. for sure. But then, you know, I had Daniel as a partner who was so lovely yeah. and mm -hmm. Jabari, and they're so sweet and we talk about everything. And he's, you know, right. I was like, you know, often the guys are more nervous than the women. Right. Right. Um, I was like, don't worry, it's fine. Let's just do it. Come on. Let's <laughs> right. well just get on with it. Right. Right. Um, <laughs> let's just get on with it. Uh, the funny thing is, it's like you do things, you, you find yourself in these funny positions as actors. Like right. we were in a, in a bathroom store. Mm -hmm. and he had me on the sink. And I was like, okay, here we go. <laughs> People have no idea that like 75% of acting is like being in weird buildings all the time. Yeah. <laughs> because like you're always in some random set. Like, so what they'll do is they'll put you in holding for the people who, you know, haven't been on a set before. Yeah. Like, we'll be shooting in, like, a bodega. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The holding will be, like, in the refrigerator in the back. Yeah. Like, that's where the uh, yeah. actor's chairs are. Toasty. And every time we're in a new location, we get a the new actor's holding. chairs are in a random place. Yeah. Random so I can't imagine, like, if you're doing a... Uh, you know, a sex scene in yeah. like a new, like you're you're in some bodega and you're like, oh, or you're in a bathroom of like something and yeah. it's just weird. Yeah. yeah. It's That's one crazy. of those things as well. It's amazing how you, I kept a lot of clothes on and, you know, still just as effective. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Mm -hmm. But how do you find them? Have you done more and more this season? I've done, I've had one intimacy scene, but I, I wouldn't even say it was a sex scene. I would say it was an intimacy scene because yeah. it just kind of like, it's like under the covers and shit. I wasn't trying to show my ass cheeks. I was... Bro, just yeah. show your ass. Our ratings will skyrocket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I nah, literally... keep, your, keep your clothes on. Yeah. yeah, I went to the director and I was like, can we show my ass, please? And you're, like, you're selling drugs on a corner. I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> I must have read the script wrong. I'm like, can we get it in season three? So you guys might see some of that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I'm let's get some fan questions. My pants. <laughs> okay, fan questions. We got some good fan questions for some you. Fans is talking um, about over here. Uh, oh, okay. X Chapo asked, "What's the process with switching accents slash dialects on set?" Like on set. Oh, yeah. um, I on saw it one time because I, I think I came to set early one day and I saw you like yeah. in a classroom scene. No, it was interesting, but I want you to talk about your process because. Oh really? Yeah, it, it was actually really interesting to watch. Like I learned a lot. Ah, oh, it's interesting because usually, I mean, if I've got a lot of work to do, what I got, it, I got into this rhythm, especially on Power. If I was in every scene. Mm -hmm. Um, I, you know, we get picked up, so it's just like, okay, I'll leave my house, I'll get in the van and I'll just start talking American. Right. And it got oh. such, it just became such a habit. Mm. And then I'll get dropped off at, and just be American all day and it helps. And you just, right. you really drop in if you stay in it all day. Yeah, like I'd leave, I'd leave the um, van in the evening, come into my house and I'd just be English again. Like my friend stayed with me for six weeks and it was just the thing that I did. Mm. And I find it a really easy way of just leaving the character behind. Right. All Carrie, because Carrie had some dark stuff as mm -hmm. well going on, and um, oh, yeah. it was just so easy. It's just like, oh, that's Carrie. It's just, it's just that's Carrie. That's the American. It's like done, mm. and that's right. Mel. Right. Yeah. yeah I'm, th I'm thankful um, Michael leaves Tariq behind when we go out at night because he'd fucking backdoor me, do some do some <laughs> dirty <laughs> shit. Yeah, be like, no. it's com I'm like, fucking Tariq. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Like, it is hard. Like, sometimes you tap yeah. into a character, and then um, it comes home with you, like, yeah. the weight of the day. Yeah, mm -hmm. because because if you're doing the scene correctly as an actor, mm. like you want to end up feel feeling it. like that. Well, you feel it. Right. Yeah, you feel everything. I mean, I do anyway. I suppose. Yeah, if you want to be authentic, feel it, you end right. up feeling. What you get in that zone, yeah. you really start feeling like the like the character for yeah. sure. Right. Hell yeah. Right. Right. Um. So next yeah. question is, Aaliyah, 
Elegi. Oh my God, you guys have the hardest Instagram names. Um, Elegi. If, you, if you had control over how Carrie was in the show, what would what would you have done differently? Ooh. Um, I'd like go underground, move some like stir some shit up. You want to be a drug dealer? Uh, see what Tariq was doing. <laughs> like, do a bit more carry manipulation. Oh. Um, so she's controlling more. She's trying to fuck up the world. Be a, right? bit, more, <laughs> be, be a bit more, like, Monet-esque, mm. I'd say. For sure, get out of the... Yeah. The school stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it is hard when there's action going on. And you're just like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna. The school stuff was good as well, right. but it would just have just been a continuation of her, you know, right. if That's she fine. was still alive. That would be. You fine. know, because she was getting darker and darker and darker, so right. it would just make sense. Okay. Well, Cameron fifty five fifteen says, "What's your favorite part about playing Carrie?" Mm, my favorite part about playing Carrie is this, just the messiness that she gets herself mm, into. Yep. Yeah. She's. You know, she's a smart human being and like all, you know, all humans, we all mess up. We She messed up a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah. We make decisions thinking it's the right thing to do, but it's often the wrong thing to do. But she mm. just kept on Yeah. yeah. She right. didn't get the memo. She had a lot of mistakes. <laughs> right. But I liked always it. on power. I like that about her though. Yeah. You know, she wasn't perfect, you know. Otherwise, she'd be boring. That's why I like the, the show, too. It shows everybody's imperfections. Like, nobody yeah. in power is perfect. Right. Totally. Everybody, everybody would be doing some fucked up shit. I think, yeah. it's actually, I think everyone in power is a mess. Like, mm, yeah. or else yeah. there wouldn't be the drama in the like, show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like, nobody me, is perfect in shit. Yeah, yeah, me and Mike talk about this all the time. We're like, oh, we just wish Brayden and Tariq wouldn't fight. But then mm. we're like, there's no, like, there's really no storyline if, like, there's no yeah. conflict because the mm. drama is what keeps exactly. people. Exactly. But right. also, it's just like, People in life, I mean, we see, we see, you know, in the show, everything's right. exposed. But actually in life, people are covering this shit up every day. That's you just, You just see what mm -hmm. they want you to see. But right. there's some that dark is crazy. stuff going like when you on watch with everyone. TV, bro, what the fuck? You, yeah. Like, you realize, yeah. like, how much, like, like, shit, like, people can possibly be hiding, like, right. behind, like, closed doors. Yeah. Like, you see these shows and then, like, the show shows the person going through their secrets and finding their own battles and, like, yeah. Yeah. like damn, how many people in the world are doing this? Right exactly, now? plenty. Yeah. And yeah. usually it's the ones you least expect. Yeah, right. that's right. crazy yeah. shit to think about. Now. Think about what's that. a dream role that you want to do next? Like, what's something that you're, like, What's oh, the oh. ideal role that you would never want to stop, like, doing? I, um, oh, God, there's just so much I want to do and play and, like, I think comp the more complex, the better for me. Um... Like I love, for instance, actors that like Viola Davis, the the, the choices that she makes, the, the and and fun stuff too. Like I mm. love all the action Marvel stuff, which right. is fun, but just those real, you know, characters that have just got a, a really interesting struggle and work through something. And yeah, yeah I don't know. There's nothing real specific, but right. beautiful stories that actually mean something as well. Right. That's important to me as well. You know. And 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 I've been on like even recently there's been some big movies come up and I thought, yeah, you're not showing this character in a in a good light. This right. is a cliche. We've we've, we've seen, seen this so before. We've done that before. And right. Why are we doing it? Like, let's make some good choices right. and kind of show some people in a in a great light, in the light that we should be seeing, you know. Right. Mm. So what are you what are you working on now? Is there anything that you can say, give anyone stuff that's coming um, out? Or? I'm working on a few things, but I can't really talk about it. Like wow, the stuff I told rich, you before. Rich. <laughs> She's working getting, on a few things. She's up in that quota, baby. She's up in that quota. She pulled up I'm in the trying. range today. I knew shit was popping off. <laughs> she up in that quota yeah. on that, man. But I'm also auditioning as well, so we'll see. Love that. Yes, she yeah. is. Yes. So it's, I'm excited. I'm excited. Auditioning is always fun. Yes. Yeah. Well, we love you, Mel. Thank you so much for yes. coming on. Yes, um, yes. We hope you had a good time. Plug anything I that did. you have, your Instagram, um, anything else. My Instagram is Melanie Liebert. Um, Yeah. And look out for her. She's up in the quota. <laughs> She's up in the corner. That, that tag is getting more expensive every every project. I better get it while you can, man. <laughs> oh. But, um, but thank yeah. you guys. This was so great. Of course, of course. Of course. We, we had to get you up here. Yeah. We had to get you up here. Once yes. we got to the West Coast, it's like, yeah, we got to yeah. get Mel. We got to yes. get You're the only our third guest, third or fourth guest in the West Coast. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm special then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Special, for sure. 100%. <laughs> Come on. Of course. But yes, we had the amazing Mel Liber here. The boy Michael Rainey Jr. You can find me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Michael Rainey Jr. TikTok, where's 22? Instagram, where's 22? 
And yeah, the boys subscribe are to the Where's Twenty Two vlog. Yeah, I always forget to say that. Yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Where's Twenty Two. Me and G, we're going crazy. Money Lion is going crazy with us. And yeah, we got the vlogs popping. We in LA going crazy. Come on. Yes, sir. Gianni V. Paolo, Instagram, TikTok. Um, He's get, still not a million. I don't yeah, know still what you're doing. It's crazy. Like, um, yeah, get that. Get that crew has it merch. Get that crew has it merch. Um, Look at that shit. It's fire. It's fire. Oh, do I get a Do I get a... Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, you just have to go to crewhasit.com. <laughs> 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 no, we got, you, we got you with a hoodie right now. Um, but thank oh, you so great. much for tuning in, guys. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you, Mel. Yes, yes, thank yes. <laughs> that was I fucking you, hilarious. Mel. That was hilarious. That was so great. <laughs>